Hello everyone, I'm Miles Davis, owner of Miles Ahead Music, and this is my workbench, and today I'm going to talk to you about what we do to our instruments so that uh, when you purchase one from Miles Ahead Music, that instrument is going to play the very best that it can. And so you or your child will play the very best that they can. Behind me you see two clarinets and we're going to explain to you what we do when we pull these new clarinets out of the box, how we go over them to make sure that these instruments are going to play the very best that they can. So we hope that you enjoy this video. We're still in the shop and I am now sitting right next to a very important machine that we have in our shop and it's called a Magna Helix. And what this instrument does is it lets you know if you have an airtight seal or not. Now there's air blowing out of this tube and when you have an airtight seal this gauge will read zero. So if I plug up that tube you see it goes right to zero. That's an airtight seal. Now I had two clarinets on my bench. This is the clarinet that's right out of the box. This was selected at random. And we're going to seal that up. I've got a plug in one end and the Magna Helix is pumping air through the other. Now I lick my fingertips and I'm going to seal the instrument. Okay, so this is right out of the box and you can see that it's about at a five. Now that means it's pretty airtight but it's not exactly 100 percent airtight. So if you were to buy this instrument from another store and they pulled the instrument off the shelf, you took it home, you would never know. You would just think, hey great, this is a new instrument, it must be perfect. But it is not perfect, okay? Now let's compare the joint that we've gone over. I'm going to plug up the top plug up the bottom, lift my fingertips, and it goes to zero. Okay, so that's, this is an airtight joint. This is a miles ahead joint. This, this clarinet is going to play better. Uh, it's going to allow you to express your artistic side more easily. Um, it's going to take you to the next level with uh, the least amount of effort. You expect to get something perfect when it's new, this is perfect. Okay, we're back at the bench now. So, so far we have tested the uh, seal of the upper joint using our Magna Helix machine. And we found a, a big difference as far as the seal on the before and the after. Now let's see, let's do another test, the really the true test, and let's play it. Okay, so here's our before clarinet, and let's see how it plays. So this is right out of the box, nothing done to it. Doesn't sound too bad, but there's a hesitancy on the left hand B, and the 1 over 1 B flat is not uh, adjusted properly. I can feel that in my fingers. Here's the hesitancy I feel in the left hand B. You'll notice a little quiver in the tone. Here I can make it go rung, rung, rung. That's because the pads aren't seating properly. Um, so it's really not playing as well as it should. As far as the 1 over 1 B flat, that has to do with how the right hand will feel. You'll, I can get the same type of vibrato there. Here I can get vibrato just by increasing and decreasing the pressure of my right hand. Okay, so that means that the instrument is close, but it's not quite right. Alright? And here is the one clarinet after we go over it. When we go over our clarinets, we reface the tone holes. That's one thing that you need to do to make sure that you get an airtight seal. And also at no extra charge on the on we put cork pads on our upper joint. That uh, helps with the seal, it helps with the projection of the sound, and also helps with the uh, cork pads don't absorb water like felt pads do. Well, let's see here how this one sounds. It 
sounds better and it feels much better. Okay, so these are all things that we do to all of our instruments. I just picked a clarinet out today as an example. But uh, that's why we say our instruments are better than new at Miles Ahead Music. Thank you for watching.